Hello and welcome to the Breakthrough Clean University video series. I'm Gabriel Cabrera and I'm the Marketing Director for Breakthrough Clean and with me today is Jerry Nova from Novo Arms. How's it going Jerry? How you doing? In today's video we will show you how to properly disassemble, clean and maintain your AR-15 platform. Okay, before we go any further we'd like to remind everybody about the safety rules. Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Always make sure the firearm is unloaded. Always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. All right, guys, now we're going to show you how to take apart, clean, and maintain the bolt and carrier group. Uh, Jerry here is going to take it down for us, but again, we're working with a Falcor Defense rifle, and this is the bolt and carrier group from that 223 556 uh, Falcor Defense platform. So if you want, Jerry, go ahead and kind of show us. All right, a couple things apart. before we take it apart. You want to make sure that these two screws here are really tight and it's still staked in properly. Uh, if this for any reason is loose, what you're going to have is a problem with the firearm cycling and stuff like that. So a couple things, you, as you're cleaning it and maintaining it, you want to make sure you, you check for unusual wear and stuff like that. Preventative maintenance. Yeah, some preventive maintenance, save you some trouble in the future. Very nice. Okay. Uh, the first thing you want to do is, if you have nails, if not, they have little handy dandy tools. You could push out this little cotter pin looking thing here. Okay. Don't try to bend this. Leave it the way it is because a lot of people see it. Oh, it looks like it's closed and they'll bend it and then try and open it up. booger it all up. Okay. So just keep that to the side. Now be careful because the firing pin inside is loose once you remove the retainer. So just Comes right tilt out. it upwards and it should fall right out. So you guys can see the individual parts. Let's see everything. Okay. Then you have the little, the little cam here, which little half spin, and it should pop right out. Just a little cam pin. It, it, it's only going to come out one way because the little tube at the top won't allow it. Okay, and then you just slide out your bolt. Nice. From the carrier assembly. Okay, another little thing you want to look out for is Try not to damage these little piston rings here too much because that will also give you some issues. So what are those for if we didn't know? These are to hold the gases in and to make a cycle so the bolt locks and unlocks when the gun fires. So the, the gas tube from the AR comes into here, right? So in the upper portion of the video, when we're showing you how to clean the upper, remember that black gas tube? This is where it goes inside of, all right? So what happens? The excess gas that's recirculated through the barrel comes back, goes through this little snorkel, and pushes it back. Now there's a bleed off there, right? That bleed off is internal. That's why you also have some exhaust ports right here and right here. Now to keep some of the gas in play inside this area, that way the bolt will rot uh, rotate, are these three little gas rings. Now the difference is you might see some platforms that have three individual ones. You might see some platforms that have what's called a McFarlane one-piece gas ring. It's a theory that it's going to hold the gas a lot better. The areas like these little gaps right here aren't going to open up and allowing for blow-by. But that's the main premise, the main idea. So if you look at it, that's exactly how it would be lined up inside of this carrier. And that's why you have some of these bleed-off ports to bleed off uh, some of the excess gas and have just enough to push the bolt and carrier back and make the bolt rotate. Let's go ahead and clean it. A uh, quick way, if you don't have the fancy handy dandy tool, you could always also use the tip of your firing pin. For your extractor, you have a little pin here. What you want to do is put some pressure downwards on it and push that pin right out. It should just slide right out of there. Okay. Now, a couple things you want to look out for here is there's a little captured spring here with a little rubber insert. This one also happens to have an extra O-ring to give it extra tension and allow it to function better. Make sure you don't lose that little spring or that little O-ring. It's always good also to have those in your range bag as a backup because that's one of the little failure points that they have. And let's go ahead and get a good close-up shot here of the uh, extractor. Be careful with those little springs there. So that's the spring. Mm -hmm. This is the extractor piece by itself. This is the bolt without the extractor. So you can see all the sludge that's in there. And one thing that you don't see, this is actually how the firing, firing pin, pin travels. It travels right through here. 
So that's why you want to be careful when you're cleaning this or putting it back together, make sure none of the, none of the pieces go loose, because if they do, they're going to hinder the travel of the firing pin. This is where you're going to love us, and this is why you come see our videos. This O-ring, anywhere else on any famous website, is $10.99 for a pack of three. But if you go to Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace or anywhere else, it's a number 60 Viton O-ring. Ten for a dollar. You're welcome. Stock up on these little uh, rubber wedges. Stock up on gas rings. And maybe a spare bolt just in case. All right. So how about this, Jerry? I'm going to spray all this down. Make sure you get inside of here. I'm going to get inside of here. This is where the bolt on goes. On the other side also. I'm going to go down that, that little gas key. A little bit goes a long way, but for the purposes of the video, we're going to put a little bit extra. Now, I'm going to clean while Jerry cleans at the same time. We're going to call out the parts that we're cleaning as we're doing it. So we're using our mil-spec plastic bristle brushes that are provided with the ammo can kit, which is what we're using today. So I'm going to use the plastic bristle brush on this first, which is the cam pin. I'm gonna start cleaning it. Which, which part are you cleaning, Jerry? I'm taking out the extractor, the little O-ring. Like I said, be careful, capture that little spring so you don't lose it. All right, you wanna make sure you get clean right under the little nail here so it could grab that casing. As you can see, I'm cleaning right on the same cloth that we're using for demonstration purposes, so you can see all the crap coming off. It's easy to show it before and after. I want you to see it being cleaned in real time. Look at that. All that just came off of here, okay? Look how clean it looks again. Now I'm gonna clean the firing pin. This is, a, I think, a stainless steel firing pin. Uh, a little bit of the solvent ended up on here. Watch this. Clean. And look at all the, the gunk right there. Now I'm gonna clean the back as well. Look, I'm just rubbing it. It's coming right off. The solvent is doing a good job of just breaking the carbon's hold on the object. I haven't had to break out a tool yet, and I don't think I might need to. So that's the difference between our solvent and a lot of other solvents where you need to either put a lot of elbow grease into the platform to clean it. Look at that, clean firing pin. Or the solvent itself is so harmful that yeah, it'll clean it, but it'll dissolve your hands, your fingernails, and everything else, like those rubber O-rings, where a lot of people say, oh, well, I'll just use motor oil to lube my gun. Well, a lot of those motor oils and all these other harmful they chemicals- Deteriorate all the rubber and all that. Bingo, and the finishes as well. So you can keep on using your Exxon if you'd like to, um, but if you wanna use something that won't prematurely wear and tear your platform, then we have the stuff for you. So I already have the firing pin, the cam pin. This one, I just kind of rubbed it back and forth. This is the extractor retaining pin. Here's the little cotter pin that holds the firing pin inside of the carrier. And Jerry is cleaning the, uh, the bolt. bolt. Now, little so that brings me to this. Too. There's a couple little different ways that you can attack this. Either one, if you have a parts washer or an ultrasonic cleaner, you can use our solvent inside of there without having to mix it with anything else. We also have it in 32 ounce versions, uh, which you see right here. Um, and if there's one tool that we recommend that you should look at, besides our cleaning kits, which are gonna do the, the bulk of the, the labor, for these little niche jobs, you can use what's called a bolt scraper. As it is, you can see we didn't break off a lot because the, the solvent had done a lot for us already. This is a 16 inch upper, so for all intents and purposes, uh, just with our solvent and standard tools that we already provide you with, you can get in there and really do a good job of cleaning. Again, I use the thinner end of the brush that we provide in the kit to get in some, some of the tight spaces with the cloth. And look at that. So going back to Brownells, which you could find our products on their website, they also have another carbon scraper, right? Which is uh, obviously for the AR-15 and M16 uh, style bolts. Now, on top of the fact that you can sit here and scrape the back if you needed to, right? They've also created it to where you can put it inside of this carrier. Let's see some of the gunk from in there. And break loose any gunk that you might have in there. And if you don't have the tool, you could always see? use the small end of the brush that, that's included in the kit there. Yep. So there's different ways to do it, obviously. For, look at all the stuff that came out from in there. Our solvent had a good 
opportunity to sit in there for a while and start breaking down everything that was in there. So you can stay in here until the cows come home. As long as, see how it keeps on spinning? As long as it's not obstructed, you should be fine. Because keep in mind, the bolt should be in here and be able to spin freely. So as long as it, there isn't enough carbon built up, so you can use this as almost kind of like a, like a check gauge yep. to make sure that there's free movement in there. And if not, you can scrape it. But like you said, with the, um, with the brush itself, you should be able to do everything you need to do. So now just kind of give it a quick wipe down, Jerry. Now one thing you want to look on your bolt also, there's a couple little indentations here. And the reason those indentations are there are so you can't put in the cam pin on the opposite side kind of staked yeah it's kind of staked so it won't go in the opposite way reason being is it's gonna have a hell of a time trying to extract those empty casings when it's pushing them off to the other side of the gun so as you can see we're clean we're dry we're gonna lube now and we're using the HP Pro obviously you can see I take this one with me everywhere <laughs> uh, and I've gotten full use of it and it's still pretty full so I've used that on, on quite a bit a uh, number of carbines and I still have more than enough. So a little bit goes a long way with a lot of our products. Make sure you get on the high wear areas and shiny yep. spots. So Jerry proved a good point right there. Make sure I get the high wear areas. If you saw our upper receiver cleaning video, you notice that I put not just on the wear areas, which you're gonna plainly see obviously, right? But a little bit everywhere else. Why? All this cleaning that we just did, it's gonna make it a lot easier if we apply some of this oil everywhere and use it almost like a CLP. We're giving it a protective coating. Remember, all of our oils and greases have rust inhibitors in them, so it's gonna prevent rust from forming on the surface of any part, internal or external. At the same time, once we've done this initial coat, we can let this sit. We do another coat over the top, and now this part is prepped, ready to go. That means when you're done shooting, you can take this out if you needed to, wipe it dry, apply more oil, and you're gonna be good to go because you cleaned it and prepped it the first time the right way. Kind of a pre-cleaner. Exactly, so if you get to the point that, okay, I, I really need to uh, take this down and clean it the right way again, then by all means, use everything that's provided in this kit or that we have on our website to kind of get it back to that bare bones level. We're gonna put a little bit here on the bolt, especially on the areas of the back. If we're gonna be doing a CLP method, then we definitely want to coat this area in the back after we told you that so much carbon builds off uh, off that area. That's where the, the dump site is for all the gases coming in. It comes in through the gas key and dumps off back there. Even though you're getting some blow off, that way you don't have excessive uh, amount of gas back there, this is where it's stopping. So it never hurts to put a little bit of this oil back there to ease in removal for the future. All right. When you see this again, it's going to be coated, ready to go. All right, guys, and we're done. So you notice it's back together. It's functioning the same way it should, right? We put the cotter pen back in, but you see now there's enough oil on top. I wiped off the excess, but there's those two layers I told you about. One is always going to sink deeper into the crevices, the nooks and crannies, everywhere else, and the second one is just kind of sitting on the surface, not only providing lubrication, but at the same time, a platform where the carbon and everything else can stick to that way you can wipe it off and knock it off easier and apply more of this stuff all right there you go once again thank you for joining us and don't forget to follow us on youtube instagram and facebook and for any other questions go to www.breakthroughclean.com take care